morning. We open today's liturgy with hymn number 626. There's a wideness in God's mercy. It's in the gathering here. Who can number these? 
heaven's height, earth's breadth, the depths of the abyss, who can explore this? Before all things else, wisdom was created and prudent understanding from eternity. The word of God on high is the fountain of wisdom and her ways are everlasting. To whom has wisdom's root been revealed? Who knows her subtleties? To whom has the discipline of wisdom has been revealed? And who has understood the multiplicity of her ways? There is but one, wise and truly awe-inspiring, seated upon his throne. There is but one, most high, all-powerful, creator, king, and truly awe-inspiring one. Seated upon his throne, and he is the God of dominion. It is the Lord. He created her through the Holy Spirit has seen her and take note of her. He has poured her forth upon all his works, upon every living thing according to his bounty. He has lavished her upon his friends. The word of the Lord. Yes, God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, in splendor robe. Robed is the Lord, and, and girt about with strength. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. And He has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you, you are, O Lord. The Lord is King, Israel, in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Hope, holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King, Israel, in majesty. since childhood. 
It was often thrown him into fire and into water to kill him. But if you do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you can, everything is possible to one who has faith. Then the boy's father cried out, I do believe, help my unbelief. Jesus, on seeing the crowd rapidly gathered, rebuked the unclean spirit and said to him, to it, Mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Shouting and throwing the boy into convulsions, it came out. He became like a corpse, which caused many to say he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, raised him, and he stood up. When he entered the house, his disciples asked him in private, Why could we not drive this spirit out? He said to them, This kind can only be only come out through prayer. The Gospel of the Lord. I think this is very appropriate for all of us today. Since the time of Lent is almost coming to our schedules, I would like to invite you all to go back to the last line of this Gospel. It's a long Gospel, but the last line says, This kind can only be come out through prayer. Yesterday's Gospel, we had the challenge of loving and forgiving, and uh, talks about our enemies. And I was thinking yesterday, I think we have two enemies all the time. There is one that is from the outside, those people that we meet, that we are with. There is an enemy that is in us. Uh, sometimes, believe it or not, the enemy that is in us is sometimes more difficult to forgive. And I would like to take this opportunity to say <coughs> the enemy that is in us can only come out and be healed through prayer. A lot of people are holy in the things that they do. They come to church, they do their prayers, everything and anything. And so when they talk about forgiving their neighbors, uh, they will say that it's difficult, but we can do that. Um, talk about the enemy that is within us. Can you control that enemy that makes you the source of evil in our world today? Discrimination, gossip, others without respect, inability to join and be part of God's people to serve this church, our ability to be humble and say, I'm doing all these things for my Lord. I think that's the most difficult part of our enemies. We can control the one that we meet every day. That that is with us, sometimes is difficult to control. And as we come into this time of Lent, I hope that you will have that time to really pray. Pray in the sense of our healing healing that we may come and understand why we are being called the children of God. 
child of God is one who is the same with his parents. I'm caring and loving not because I can do that, but because I originated from a caring and a loving parent that is God. I am able to help others and continue to work for others because I have a God, a Father who continues to serve and work for others. The same way of doing that my Father is all about. I hope that you will have a good time to prepare yourselves for this Lenten season Sometimes the season will come in and will go out again without even us realizing that really nothing came to us and understand what we are doing. We just go with the flow. Oh, it's Ash Wednesday. Go to church. Have all those ashes in their forehead. Fasting and abstinence. Oh, everybody's doing that. We do that. Oh, it's Lenten season. And we do this. And we Easter time comes, did anything change? I wonder. I wonder. Take into your hearts the gift of God today through this gospel and grow as a child of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand and offer our prayers. Gracious and loving God, you have called us today for healing. May we, as children of God, trust in the healing power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. That in our church, that we may continue to build the family of God, we pray to the Lord. That during this time of preparing for this Lenten season, may we call the Spirit. Spirit of God who generates in us the power to pray with our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and this Mass is being offered for Rana Mahowski, Severino C. Cuya Sr., Jose Hippolito Varias Torres, Dr. Jose Villa, Eva Stein, Athena Kemp. Harriet Bellino, let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, you always care for our needs. Thank you for bringing us together today to receive the Christ who healed us. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for that the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. 
to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son. By whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exhortation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. Join in holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness, make holy, therefore, this gives we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Of fate. We proclaim your death Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Blaise our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Oh, our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us not have temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distresses we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For your kingdom and power are you now and glory in Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. 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 Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of 
Behold the Lamb of God, we holy who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to shed your under my name, but I will say the word of my soul shall be Communion hymn is number 847, Song of the Body of Christ. Songs of Thankfulness and Praise. Mm -hmm. 